Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel and you do not know who I am, my name is Jacob and this is Vintage by Jacob. I am a full-time online reseller of vintage and basically any type of clothing I can get my hands on and resell online. Now I primarily sell on the Poshmark app and that is where I make my full-time income like seriously all my checks come from the Poshmark app, which is super, super crazy at this point. But I basically have been using this YouTube channel to document my day-to-day -day practices as a business owner and a full-time entrepreneur, reseller, what have you. I'm kind of giving you guys some transparency about what it's really like trying to scale a business and make money online and all that cool stuff. Uh, just some real practical information about entrepreneurship and reselling and business. So if that sounds intriguing to you, hit the subscribe button. I would really really appreciate it i think we're building a super super cool little community here on youtube and i cannot thank you guys enough and if you want to help the channel even further the best way to do that is to hit the like button you've heard the spiel before the youtube algorithm loves it when you hit the like button so yes please hit the like button it can really really help me out and lastly if you have any comments questions concerns and you just want to talk hit me up in the comment section down below i'd love to talk to each and every one of you guys down there so I think I have a super fun, kind of informative, how-to-ish video today for you guys. I am actually going to take you guys behind the scenes of what I do when I take photos to put an item on Poshmark to resell. I'm going to show you guys kind of my exact process and all the little tips and tricks I have, all the little things that I do to separate my photos from all the other listings out there. I think I have some really valuable information. This has been a very big part of my sales process for years now i feel like i finally have it boiled down to a science and my conversion rates on all my products are way are the best they've ever been so i think i finally have it boiled down to a system that is highly scalable highly repeatable and it's just a kind of secondhand nature for me now i know exactly what to do i know exactly how to take pictures and i can do it like clockwork and pump out a lot of items fast using all these tips and tricks and methods I do to take photos of my items. And I think what I'm gonna show you guys today is truly the best way in terms of the quality of the photo to maximize the profit on all these items because ultimately that's my goal. Um, I'm kinda, as far as my business model goes, I, I and, and you guys know, if you've watched these videos for a while now, you know I go to the bins and get a ton of items at the bins, so I pay like dirt cheap prices and a lot of times I kind of sacrifice quality for quantity and in order to make up some of that quality aspect I have to really make sure I have good quality photos and good quality listings in order to keep my business consistently selling items and ultimately squeezing out as much profit as I can to keep to keep reinvesting into my business so I can ultimately keep scaling my business right, and the item I'm going to be using to demonstrate this process in this video is this super rad pair of vintage uh, Converse kind of just super cool suede leather sneakers. So I think these will be a really good example of how I take photos of items. Uh, I think just like the colors on these are super cool. So I think the photos of these ones are gonna turn out super good. I'm really excited to show you guys. Well, let's actually start off. Here's a general tip for anybody taking pictures of things to resell online. You're gonna want a very nice neutral background uh, and I've been using this uh, piece of wood. It's kind of just like a decor piece. I got it at uh, Menards or Home Depot. It's like 10 bucks uh, and it works perfect. I've been using it for a couple years now. I put this fancy little knob in there. This was probably 99 cents at the same store uh, to hang, hanger, to hang garments from. And then when I actually take uh, photos of items such as this sweet pair of shoes, I will actually lay this down and take them like vert or yeah would it be vertically vertical photos um or like over the top photos so that is actually what i'm going to do right now and so i have this board laying flat and i'm actually going to put the shoes on top of the board now here's my shoes here's the surface i'm going to be taking pictures on and what i use for a lighting source is this fancy ring light um, and what I used to use is this old, it's an LED, it's just a flat light, but this was at Walmart for $9.99. So if you guys don't wanna pay up for a ring light, I wanna say these are like 
maybe 50, 60 bucks. I can't quite remember, but if you don't want to pay up for a ring light, just get one of these LED lights. These things work fabulous. You cannot manipulate them uh, as much as you can a ring light, but they work so good for the money. Um, and that's what I would recommend. I'm actually going to position this ring, 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 right? This ring light right over the shoes. I'm going to adjust. All right, as for the shoes, in this current form, this is not how you're gonna wanna take pictures of them. If you took pictures like this, they would look very, very sloppy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie the laces up really nice and kinda just position them in a way that's gonna be attractive to a prospective buyer. All right. All right, so here we are. Uh, I tied the laces, I laid them out in a little bit of, of a of a more cool position, so to speak. Uh, this way you can actually see this, the side of the shoe and the overhead look of the shoe in your initial photo. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take, you know, six, seven photos, just getting every single angle of the shoe that I can. And right now I am actually using my phone as a camera to film this. I film all my videos on my phone. And I also use my phone for taking pictures of inventory. Uh, so unfortunately you're not gonna be able to see me physically taking pictures, uh, but I'm gonna snap them quick and then I will show them to you guys uh kind of on like a screen share type deal all right here we go all right and just to display you're going to want to take a photo like this um i i tend to take one like this one of all the details i take one of the backs typically um obviously the size and then also uh, any, any detail basically um and just a few hot tips you know make sure that you have a you know a good cropped view of the item you're not going to want any of the outside details keep everything on the board um, and if you have to crop photos at the end that's fine um, and just take as many photos as you can that can really depict uh, what the shoes really really look like uh, in person i mean that's ultimately what's going to sell them um, so yeah and so it's actually a very simple formula to follow First of all, you're gonna want a very clean background. I already told you guys about that. Make sure the photos are uh, you know, perfectly centered in that. Just something super neutral like this. Like I said, this was 10 bucks. Um, and then also you're just gonna wanna have good lighting. Um, like I said, 10 bucks for that uh, cheap light at Walmart. The ring lights are awesome. You can manipulate them super well, uh, but you're gonna wanna do just like I showed you in that video. You're gonna wanna position the item on your clean background, get some really good lighting on it and just take a whole bunch of different photos, placing photos in this video of what the shoes actually turned out uh as far as the photos i took an example for this video uh but yes that is exactly what you should do for each and every item if your item is a hanging item uh it's pretty self-explanatory same deal hang the item uh you can do a flat lay as well um and just take photos of everything the tag the details a front photo back photo arm details everything the key to maximizing profit is a lot of photos good lighting and a clean background all right, now for the rest of this video, I'm gonna take you through my editing process and what I do with these photos. Now, taking the photos is probably the easiest part, uh, probably the painless part of this whole process. I mean, it's super easy just to snap a few photos, um, especially with smartphones nowadays. Like I said, I use my smartphone for everything, filming videos for this channel and taking all of the photos for my inventory. It's super simple. It's really easy to manipulate the photos on your phone with the touch screen on. It's just super fast and efficient. So that is why I do it that way. But now that you have your photos, like the ones that I have here, um, what I actually do is I take each one of these photos and I edit them a little bit just to enhance the quality of the photo. Uh, now, when I say edit the photos, I am not doing anything to manipulate the photos to agree that it would make the product look like something that the consumer is not going to get. Because ultimately that is a very bad business practice. It's almost like a bait and switch type method, what I'm doing is just making the photos a bit more attractive, so to speak, so I can get more clicks on my items and ultimately convert more sales because my items get more traction. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to enhance the photos enough that they outbeat my competitor's photos. Uh, so I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. Uh, it's super subtle, it's super easy, and about any editing app I believe can do it. The editing app that I use is Photoshop. Um, I'm pretty sure it's for Apple and Android. I use a Android, and don't hate me, but yes, I use an Android. <laughs> it's just what I'm used to. Here's the actual process. So I load my photos into the Photoshop app and I take each one of them. And unfortunately, I have not found a faster way that achieves the same quality. I do it by hand. 
one by one photo uh, but once you get the rhythm down it can go really fast you can knock out one 200 photos uh, in no time you know 10 minutes so um, it's not fun I'll tell you that much but it is fast and efficient once you get used to it so I load all my photos into the Photoshop app and I take each one and here is my secret ratio for editing photos this is what I do to each photo nothing more nothing less just like clockwork each photo and I turn the clarity up to 30 the sharpness up to 70 and the contrast up to 20 uh, and the reason why I do this is the clarity just makes the image look a little more sharper. You can see the details of the item a little bit better, as well as the sharpness. It does the exact same thing. I believe the combination of those two just add a great level of detail to the photo, and it ultimately helps the consumer understand what they're buying more. Uh, and as far as the contrast, I put it up to 20. And the reason why I do that, I think it makes the photo look the most true to its natural color in person. I use a very, very white uh, ring light. You've seen that, I showed you guys that earlier in the video, and it can ultimately blow out uh, the photos quite a bit. It is super bright. Um, so that's why I like to add a little bit of that contrast just to kind of make it as real as possible. Um, and what, what this ultimately does is it just, it creates the truest form of the photo in my opinion. And it's kind of, I, I want to, I, not a scientific ratio but this is the perfect ratio that i have found between the clarity sharpness and contrast in order to in order to achieve the most attractive photo of all my items possible like i said which can in return lead to more clicks on my items and ultimately convert more sales because the more uh, eyeballs i have on all my items uh, the higher probability they have of selling and that's just the sales game uh, so yes this is my process for editing photos uh, that was my process for taking photos and I combined those two and it's ultimately a very big part of my sales formula uh, so yeah that's kind of the dirty little secret on my sales formula when it comes to taking photos and in order to maximize the profit of all the items I resell on uh, that's it uh, it's honestly pretty simple but it's something I really wanted to share with you I think uh, people have a good grasp uh, you know how to take good quality pictures uh, but I do think the editing puts it over the top I think it's just the, the perfect touch in order to you know ultimately get the maximum profit out of items you can and ultimately convert more sales along the way um, and it's just been something I've been doing for years now uh, and you know to be honest I don't have any crazy statistic about you know it, the, my conversion rate is X amount higher than it was before but um, I will say before I started doing this seriously full time and before I had a very good sales formula down, I did not implement any of these tips and tricks I shared with you today. And there's obviously a notable difference. Uh, it's been way easier to scale my business uh, with a solid formula for listing inventory, uh, much like this one. Uh, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the presence of these super rad shoes. Uh, these are sweet, I'm almost sad I'm selling them. I think they're just really cool sweet retro style uh colors are super cool on these uh but nonetheless that's my process that's my formula i hope you guys were able to learn something in this video um but yeah uh that is it for today's video uh, uh please implement these tips and tricks let me know how they work for you uh let me know if i can add something to my process maybe i'm missing something um I, I i've been doing this for a long time and i feel like i have a good grasp on it but i always enjoy learning new stuff and i would definitely appreciate the feedback and information if you guys have any share with me so yes that is today's video i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day um but yeah uh like i said earlier in the video if content like this appeals to you and you want more of it hit the subscribe button i post three times a week monday wednesday and friday that you will be notified every single time i upload a video and if you want to contribute and help to the channel hit the like button that's the cheapest way to do that and it's also the most beneficial way so i really appreciate it if you hit the like button if you want to talk uh questions comments concerns you want to tell me how your photos have been turning out let me know in the comment section down below i love to talk to you guys down there uh but until friday be good to one another i really appreciate everything you guys have been doing for me um, and yeah, that's all I got for you today. All right. Peace.